good now, right now, wherever and whenever you are. This is Daryl as a service at work. I got a question from uh, for someone about system audio within Microsoft Teams. You're in a meeting, you want to add audio that's playing from your desktop. It's a great feature being able to bring through audio from videos and things that you want to share within a meeting. However, the landscape of Microsoft Teams and in fact Microsoft 365 is always changing. So I just wanted to highlight something that wasn't really made clear to me until I looked at it again. This feature with system audio has changed. I recorded a great video last year with a, a colleague of mine um, and it was a tick box that as you're entering a meeting, you can tick a box and show, yep, that's what I wanna add system audio to my meeting and it would uh, it would appear and be part of it, but this has changed now. So I just wanna step you through the change and, uh, and quickly help to answer this question. Um, so we have, go here's a question there from uh, Jamie Killoran um, so like I went in to check this yeah uh, I can't find where to tick this box because the tick box isn't there anymore so let's go over it um, I've got a meeting here within teams um, I've started it up it is a meet now meeting uh, let's just join that again um, we've got the meeting um, webcam um, we've got our audio and the audio is set to using these earbuds. So this means that um, whatever I'm uh, saying through this, the microphone will be used in the earbuds, but also the audio that is played out through my earbuds um, is can be captured to be part of this meeting. Um, so let's start that meeting. We'll join that now. Okay, so no, I'm not gonna have anyone there joining me at the moment, but what we'll do is we'll share our screen and this is where we could add system audio earlier. It used to be a tick box here and we could choose the source that we wanted to, to, uh, to share, whether it be a desktop or an application, um, but there's no tick box there anymore. Where is that tick box? Well, let's uh, share our screen and find something else that's a bit better to share. Oh, we'll just share that one as well. Um, we've got uh, the screen here and let's say that I wanted to play out a um, a, a YouTube video that I'd seen that's going to inspire my team at the beginning of the meeting. I want to be able to share that audio with people. Uh, but as you saw, there's no tick box there to add that. So where do I do this now? When you're sharing a screen or an application, um, if you hover up to the top, you'll see a toolbar which auto hides as part of um, sharing content within Teams. Um, you'll see presenting, so it's clear that I can see I'm presenting, I can see the red line around it. I can give people control, I can stop presenting. What's this? Include system audio. Now, <laughs> it's carefully hidden there. It's uh, not something super obvious unless you hover over it and you see that tool tip. But if I wanted to include system audio, let's just tap that button. System audio included. Now, I know that I can't really demonstrate that to you because you're hearing this recording, you're seeing this, but that, just take my word for it, that will play system audio um, as part of the uh, the Teams meeting. Now, one thing I did notice uh, is that if I had my um, Windows audio setting set to something else, let's say that I wanted to have it set to my system speaker, or rather the inbuilt speaker into my laptop, if it was set to that, but I'm using my earbuds for the meeting, um, then as I go to share the system audio, it will it will suggest, hey, look, this isn't going to work because they both have to match. And I'll just see if I can reproduce this. Let's uh, click that over. So I might have it set to this so I can, um, you know, play things out and uh, and that you know I'm using just my ear my ear buds for the uh, the Teams meeting. So we'll go back up here. Let's see if we can. Uh, here we go. There's our our warning there. Go to your computer settings and select the um, the headset earphones, the Jabra uh, 65 Ts, which I'm wearing now. See, they've, they've got a match for the audio to be captured so I can hear it, but also so it can be sent through to the online meeting. So I'll set that back, go back over here, and now we should be able to activate that system audio. All right, so you can see the button there. Brilliant. All right, so that is the tip. Um, thanks for joining me. Uh, I hope that was a, a quick one there to be able to answer your question, Jamie, and it'll certainly answer it for me. I will never claim to know everything because it's always changing, <laughs> but at least I know where to find out, and I'm not afraid to jump in there and, and try things out too. 
Uh, if you like this kind of content, then continue to uh, to subscribe to those addresses. Yeah, I forgot to turn the uh, headphone thingo on there. Anyway, um, you get the idea, and uh, we'll see you again in the next one. Catch you later.